okay so let me give you the definition of sunk cost fixed cost and variable cost okay so if you have a cost function like this c as a function of y okay so when i say c as a function of y i'm taking y w and r is given so let's say there are some fixed w and r uh, which i have already substituted for okay and then i i only have cost as a function of output okay so uh, so that's how you can think about it okay so and if it's a short run cost function then also it's the same thing in that case w r and k are i've just taken some fixed values of w r and k and i've just left it as a function of output okay so i've chosen some values and put them there okay so let me give you the definition okay uh, so this is cost function obviously you know that okay now there are two components of the cost function one is a fixed cost and the other is a variable cost okay so what is a fixed cost fixed cost is basically defined as limit as y goes to zero from the right of cy okay that's the definition of fixed cost okay and what is sunk cost sunk cost is c0 okay that's the sunk cost okay fine and what is a variable cost variable cost is cy minus the fixed cost okay that's the variable cost so these are the definitions okay so now let me ask you suppose the cost function is like this it is 4y plus 80 if y is positive and it is 40 if y is zero now can you tell me what is the fixed cost what is the fixed cost Eighty, very good. Okay, so we have done the limits. So already you already know what that means. Okay, so as y approaches zero from the right, uh, this is the expression that you need to use. Okay, and then you're going to get eighty. Now, what is the sum cost? Forty. And what is the variable cost? it is 4y okay good okay so you know the idea behind uh, you know what is the difference between the sunk cost and the fixed cost so sunk cost is something that you can imagine a scenario where uh, you know you have already incurred some cost okay uh, to get the licenses to run the factory so think about it that you are in a timeline where you have already incurred the cost of obtaining the licenses purchasing the machinery okay and uh, so i want to find the cost at this point okay so cost of machinery and obtaining the licenses is like a sunk cost at this point because it's something that has already been incurred so even if you choose to produce nothing you still have incurred that much cost is that clear okay now you need to put in some more cost so that you can start the machine is that okay fine and then you can apply labor to them okay to carry out production so that additional money that is required to operate the machine you know that is something that you can say is also part of the fixed cost because uh, because you know without 
starting the machine labor cannot do anything on their own is this clear so there are two components of fixed cost you can say the part of the fixed cost which is sunk which has already been incurred and the part of the fixed cost which is which is yet to be incurred okay you can call that avoidable fixed cost okay so fixed cost minus sunk cost is the avoidable part of fixed cost okay sunk cost is unavoidable part of the fixed cost so fixed cost can be divided into two types of cost one is sunk cost and the other is avoidable fixed cost so why do we call it avoidable fixed cost because we can avoid it by not producing anything so we can avoid the machine starting expenses by choosing not to produce anything but we cannot avoid this because we have already uh, purchased the machine and we have already uh, incurred the cost of you know obtaining the license okay so all that has already been incurred so that's basically your sunk cost and uh, this is something that we can still avoid by choosing to produce nothing okay but if you want to produce even a silent amount of output you have to incur this as well so you have to incur the starting cost okay uh, so uh, so the two together gives you fixed cost so what is the avoidable component of the fixed cost in this case 40 what is the sunk cost in this case 40 40 plus 40 is 80 and that's your fixed cost so sunk cost is actually part of fixed cost is that clear okay 